All right, everyone. So if you're watching this video, you're going to be sent for a colonoscopy. And people are sent for many different reasons. In my case, we have a cancer screening test that has come back positive. Um, and I'm going to begin the preparations for a colonoscopy. And I thought I'd share this journey with you. In researching on the internet, there is a lot of good information. I would recommend harvard.med. Um, they have very good information, and of course, Harvard University is a very trusted source. Um, but what is it really like? You know, the look on my doctor's face when I asked him, he was like, ugh. He says, it's not pleasant. But, we'll find out. Um, it's one of the things that I wanted to know, and what, you know, what is it really like? So, of course, you have your instructions from your doctor, you follow your instructions. Uh, the instructions I've been given, I have to take the purging drug, uh, pe Peglite, um, which is in the bottle behind me there. It's huge. Uh, I have to drink one cup at a time, cup after cup after cup over a period of time. And I'm going to be doing this for uh, almost two and a half days. So today is Wednesday. The procedure is Friday afternoon, and I'm going to be drinking this all the way to... Uh, well, right before my procedure. Now, it is in a huge bottle. It's in a powder. Um, it, you have to add water. It is recommended to put in your refrigerator. Um, if it's cold, apparently it tastes better. When I did mix it up, it didn't smell very good. It does have a chemical um, odor to it. Um, now that it has been chilled, it actually has a tutti frutti scent to it, like bubble gum. Um, it's a lot to drink. You want to keep lots of toilet paper ready. You have to have a measuring cup, follow the instructions exactly. Um, wear loose fitting clothes because apparently when it begins to work, you will not have time to undress. It's recommended wear, you know, something loose fitting like pajama bottoms, um, um, maybe like um, yoga pants, just something. And be prepared to spend some time in the bathroom. And we'll make this journey together. And at this point, I thought we could. Um, see what it tastes like because this is the first dosage am I nervous yes I am I am but let's see how it goes okay so here it is I mean this thing is huge it's something that would probably also be the size of what you'd buy antifreeze in it's really big and you can see the the water line is up to here I mean this is just that's a lot to consume so I've given it a shake. Let's see what it tastes like. Measuring cup. I have to measure one cup. Okay, that's that's yeah, almost. A little bit more, a little bit more, and there we go. Okay. Now let's see how this goes. Alrighty, so here we go. Cheers, people. Let's see what it tastes like. It's actually not that bad. Um, almost like a Gatorade, really. A little bit of a, it's a little bit salty. Um, but it tastes like a Gatorade. This is no big deal. All these people complaining about its taste. Now it's no big deal. Don't be afraid of the taste, um, but like they say in the instructions, if it is cold, it tastes better. Um, kind of, it's almost like a, th it's a bit thick maybe. You can see here, it's watery, but almost like a, like a, some sort of diluted, like jello, if that helps. Mm. Everyone, that's Cinder, that's the attending um, healthcare professional who'll be taking care of me this evening to take care of daddy. You are? Uh, it's not the best end. That's a better end to show. Yeah, you gonna give Daddy a kiss? Okay. Um, there she is. She's sweetheart. She's uh, about to turn three years old. Her birthday, uh, believe it or not, it's Valentine's Day, February 14th. And that's not the best end of you. Would you stop showing that end? Oh my God, Cinder. Okay, well, if anyone wonders what a col colonoscopy is, they're going to use a, a camera on a long, flexible um, wand that goes up that end. Let's just put it that way. And people, it goes way up there. 
as a volunteer at a hospital in uh, ambulatory acute care, uh, the procedure for colonoscopy. I'm very familiar with it, and I've seen the scope. That thing's got to be at least eight feet long, honestly. Yeah, it's, they really go way up there. Remember that. All right, that's it. One cup in. Let's wait and see what happens. Okay, people. So I've taken the first cup. It has been 15 minutes. So far, nothing has happened. I feel fine. But it's time for the second cup. So the one that I'm taking, of course, is Peglite, uh, very commonly prescribed for uh, purging the GIT of any solid waste or anything that they need to clear out so they can see clearly in your procedure, my procedure. Um, well, I'm still nervous about this. I still, you know, they say when it begins to work, it happens very suddenly, you don't have much time, you need to be near a bathroom, um, and be prepared, and in an environment that is stress-free. Uh, here we go. So this is cup number two. So I took the first dosage 15 minutes ago. And again, the taste just tastes like tutti fruity bubble gum that's a bit salty. No big deal. If you are nervous about what it tastes like, um, honestly, I would tell you you have nothing to worry about at all. No, it's just this tastes like a bit. Okay, all right. No, don't worry. It's normal to feel nervous before a procedure. And I thought maybe that's why I'd make this video to share it with you. Um, there's only so much you can really grasp from the written text that is online, which is very important. But sometimes we want answers to questions that aren't there, such as what was the experience like? And I hope that uh, by sharing this, maybe it'll help answer those questions and, and ease any concerns, anxieties, or fear that you may have. Because um, it's one that we all share. You know, I'm going through it too. Hang on. Done. So that's uh, dosage number two. Uh, first do dosage was at 6 p.m. It is now 6.15. Dosage number two. And in 15 minutes, I'm going to drink another cup of it. And then another one at 6.45. So it's four cups in one hour. See you in a moment. All right, everyone. So it's been almost 30 minutes, and I have to go for dosage number three of peg light colonoscopy preparation. Um, so far, nothing's happened. At 18 minutes, I did hear a little gurgling. I guess it was, it was leaving the stomach. But so far, nothing's ha Oh, there's another gurgle. Yeah, I'm starting to hear some gurgling going on in there. But I don't feel any discomfort, any cramping, um, anything unpleasant. So, you know, if, that may change soon, though, very quickly. Uh, and we'll be making this journey together in this video log. Um, so, one more cup. Cheers, guys. <clears throat> ah. Soon we'll find out, really, what happens. Because I am going to include that in the, this video log. Okay, so this is the third cup in 30 minutes. Uh, huh. Sorry. There we go. Well, honestly, um, some, some of the websites I saw online, they recommend drinking it with a straw. It helps to reduce the bad flavor. Honestly, I think everyone has already tasted this flavor. If you had any gauge or anything like that, that's exactly what it tastes like. Just a bit, a little bit saltier. That's all. So that's the third dosage. Um, I still have one more to go uh, in 15 minutes, which makes four cups of peg light for the colonoscopy prep. And um, I'm going to keep you updated. Okay, people. 
here we go. This is um, dosage number four of Pegolite for the colonoscopy prep. Um, this would be the first or fourth, you know, the fourth cup I've had to drink in 45 minutes. And at this point, still nothing's happened, but I'm noticing that there's gurgling going on. But I do not feel any discomfort, any cramping. Um, maybe I feel something in my face. A little, I don't know how to describe it. And almost a little hint of maybe like a headachey feeling. You know, this stuff is known to have side effects. Um, common one is nausea, which I'm not experiencing, but what I'm experiencing could just be nerves also. Um, here we go. It is salty. It's not that bad. We've all had worse somewhere. Um, here we go. Uh, uh, it's not that bad. Here we go. So that's the fourth dosage. So it is now, I began my journey at 6 p.m. It is now 6.45, and that's it for tonight. Um, I don't have to drink any more. Um... We'll find out at what time, in the timeline, it begins to actually do what it does. So, and I'm going to be sharing it all with you. We'll see you soon. Hello everyone. So, it's um, been two hours since I've taken the peg light for the colonoscopy preparation. And, this little cinder as always, taking good care of her daddy. Um, I began to feel it working at um, 1 hour and 45 minutes. The gurgling was increasing, and then I could feel water moving into the, the colon area, the lower bowels of the colon, and was ready to be expelled. Um, absolutely no discomfort, no cramping, no sense of like the bowels melting and falling onto the floor, nothing like that. No, um, no drama. Um, just a little bit of gurgling, and that's it. Um, I would say what I would compare it to is think back in your memories to when you had a coffee, say from Starbucks or a tea, that maybe had a bacteria in it. Because about 25 minutes later, you got that watery diarrhea. That's it. This is what you experience. Um, no discomfort whatsoever at all. It's just a little bit of water leaving you. Um, it's not in really large volumes at any given time and I'm finding um, I've only gone to the bathroom twice I can feel a third one coming like like it's there it's getting ready no surprises are where you end up you know expelling the water before you make it to the bathroom in other words peeping yourself um, nothing like that there's no incredible pressure you're not going to shoot up into the air like a bottle rocket um, you will know. And when you're ready, you just very calmly get up and just walk to the bathroom, expel that water, and that's it. I'm actually just uh, watching YouTube videos in the living room. Um, I think the worst part of this, honestly, is not being able to eat. Now, I'm being sent for colorectal cancer due to a uh, screening test that has come back positive. I do have the signs and symptoms, I do experience pain, so I haven't been eating a lot. And now I have to go from Wednesday to the day of procedure to thir or Friday afternoon without eating at all. Sometimes I just don't feel hungry because of what's going on. Today I have been feeling hungry and I want to eat, but I can't. Um, so the one thing I did, a little tip to share with you that might help, is knowing that I'll probably be good and ready and hungry to eat following the procedure if the sedation meds um, will allow it. Because it, where I have it done, they do administer one ampoule of fentanyl, a powerful opiate, um, synthetic opiate, narcotic. 
Um, but when I'm ready, I'm rewarding myself with a treat. You know, we should eat healthy, but every now and then, uh, we can have a little treat, right? Right? It's okay. So I, I bought myself um, some Doritos nachos. Um, the cheesies, you know, the, the crunchy ones. I think they're called Werther's things or something like that, but you all know what there is. There's cheesy poofs, the soft ones, and these are the crunchy ones. Um, I've got from a bakery a dozen peanut butter um, cookies, and I'm going to nibble like a little bunny rabbit. Just got to nibble through them. And something that is tangy and, and tasty, and a little snack food from childhood, too. It always brings some comfort. So think comfort food. Um, but be careful what you eat. They do not recommend um, anything spicy. Um, depending on what goes on the procedure, if they're doing a biopsy, you know, thing like, you know, something like that. So you have to wait until after your procedure. Um, you know why you're going. You should talk to your doctor about what you should be eating or not eating following your discharge. Um, I think it'll be okay for me. But we have to wait until the day of procedure to see what they find, what happens, what they do. I may have to modify what I'll eat afterwards. But um, other than that, um, I would say prep is no big deal. Um, no big deal. Nothing to worry about. It's more of just a nuisance. Really, that's all I describe it as. Tomorrow uh, could be a little bit different. Um, I have to do day number two of the prep and at 6 p.m. I have to drink one cup of peg light at 6.15 another cup 6.30 another cup and at 6.45 a fourth cup and then at 10 p.m. I have to repeat that again so a total of eight cups in over four hours in a four hour time period um, it does take up to two hours to three hours to work, which means it'll be kicking in full blast at midnight. And it's a bit late, and it, imagine it'll keep things moving through the GIT for several hours. So I expect that tomorrow night, my second night, and the night um, before the procedure, is going to be a long one for me, and I expect to be very tired. I would normally go to bed at 9 p.m. So, it's a late night for me. Um, which might work well the day of the procedure. I'll be so tired when they administer the sedation meds. It will work with that fatigue and sedate me even more for the procedure. Making it more comfortable. Um, so, I guess that's it for tonight. I'm going to head to the bathroom soon. And so will you when you um, take this. But again... You know, if you're watching this before you have your procedure, before you take the prep, don't stress. The actual worry and fear of doing this is far greater than um, um, what you experience. In fact, on a scale of 1 to 10, if 10 being the worst, 1 being not so bad, I'd honestly put preparing for a colonoscopy out of 1. And I'm being very honest and very truthful. It's no big deal. Um, oh, another tip. You may want to put something down on the bed. Just in case. When you go to sleep, this case has a little bit of leakage. Um, I can see that there could be. So I'm going to do that. But um, I know that I will sleep tonight and get some rest. And look forward to those Doritos. I'll talk to you soon. Uh, Unless anything wild happens, um, this will be the last video entry for tonight. And we'll continue tomorrow. Um, we we'll take a lot of it. A lot. So eight cups will have to be consumed tomorrow. In a very short period of time. You just know it's going to happen, right? Poo fountain. But we'll see how it goes. And at that point, what we're looking for is to make certain that it's clear. You can't have your procedure until water's flowing through you like a nice, babbling, clear brook. All right? So, we'll talk to you soon. Good night.